So this is my grid board. So this is called the unloading pin right here. And then I have a little carabiner that lets all these attachments clip onto it. What's up everybody? Welcome back to Garage Gym Gains. If you're new to the channel, my name's Ricky. And even if you're not new to the channel, my name's still Ricky. We talk about pretty much anything that's home gym related, whether it's equipment reviews, discussion videos, a little bit of training footage, but lately we've been doing a lot of home gym tours. So definitely stick around and hit that subscribe button. That's something that interests you. Today we're checking out Zachary's $20,000 Star Wars themed home gym. So I'm super excited to check it out. I haven't watched the video yet. I just talked to him a little bit about it uh, before I started this. So that's about all I know. Before we get started, don't forget to check out the new Garage Gym Gains logo banners. They are four feet wide by two feet tall and they're a pretty high quality material. I think they turned out really good. I didn't order a bunch of them, but they are available on the website. So uh, check that out down below as well. While I roll this up, we're gonna go ahead and get started. Hey everyone, uh, my name is Zach and I'll be giving you guys a tour of my home gym today. So I had a guy named Ricky, he goes by uh, Garage Gym Games on Instagram, he DM'd me and said that he wants to review my home gym. So I figured I'd give you guys a quick tour, kind of explain some stuff, and if you guys have any questions, just drop a question down below in the comments, and I'll answer it for you. Alright, let's get to it. So before I start this video, I know a lot of you guys will probably ask why I have a basement gym rather than a garage gym. And I live in Michigan, so it gets really, really cold here. Um, luckily, it is heated down here in the basement, so it is 62 degrees, it feels really good. I'm going to be straight up, honestly kind of wish that I had a basement gym mainly for that reason. The climate control, both temperature and humidity, it's going to save your equipment, it's going to make it more comfortable to work out. Usually you sacrifice ceiling space if you're in the basement as instead of the garage, but we'll see if that's a case for Zachary. But if I had, you know, a garage gym, it would just be frozen most of the year, so. That's no good. Holy crap. So I will start over here. So this is my squat rack. I got this from Dick's Sporting Goods um, about a decade ago. <laughs> um, the brand is called Fitness Gear. As you can tell, you know, I kind of have beat it up over the years. we go. But it's still standing, still does really well. And I had no problem with it. So pretty good squat rack, honestly, for I think I paid like 150 bucks for it. Dang. Something to add really quick. Um, I did replace the J-Cups. So these are from Vogue. And then I kind of just... Um, so I, there's screws here, so I unscrewed these and then I put a little piece of uh, rubber right there to kind of make it fit nice and snug. I've came across a couple of these fitness gear half racks and somehow I didn't even notice that those are Rogue J-Cups. That's awesome that he retrofitted them on there. It looks like it works really well, relatively simple, and it's a huge step up over the J-Cups that are on there. Well done. Um, I'll kind of just go over some of my bars here. So this is an Elite FTS uh, safety squat bar. This is a duffalo bar by Kabuki Strength. Nice. This right here is my deadlift bar. This is also from Elite FTS. It's a Texas deadlift bar. This is an Ohio power bar I got from Rogue. And then same thing, this is an Ohio bar, so more for like CrossFit, even though I don't do any CrossFit. <laughs> but they had a 
we're able to customize it here. So I'm a huge Star Wars nerd, so I was able to put unlimited power on it, and then it says Rogue on the other side. So pretty cool. Uh, this is an earthquake bar. So basically I put bands on the ends of this, and it basically shakes like hell. <laughs> <laughs> helps with like your stability while you're benching stuff like that and then I have Darth Maul's lightsaber of course the bar and then I have that is a seriously nice barbell setup on Minvius that duffalo bar the earthquake bar pretty awesome stuff so far lightsaber from the video game Jedi Fallen Order so if you guys have played that that is what his lightsaber looks like. So. And then this is a Galaxy's Edge inspired Captain Cardinal helmet. Uh, also very here, cool. I have pizza plates from Fringe Sport, I believe. Yeah, Fringe Sport. I have donut bumper plates. This is just a 15 pound bumper plate, 25 pound. And then Captain America. Nice. 25 pound plate from On It. So down here I have, so these are all from on it as well. Same, like the same thing as that uh, Captain America plate. So I have a duck. First off, those plates are freaking awesome. And so are these kettlebells. Darth Vader kettlebell, I believe it's 75 pounds. And then the Stormtrooper kettlebell is 65 pounds. And the Boba Fett kettlebell is, I think 55 pounds, I'm pretty sure. I'd have to double check on the website, but, and then I also have a slam Death Star <laughs> So it's pretty cool. Of course. Um, over here, you know, I just have a deadlift jack. You know, once you start getting over like three plates on deadlifts, it, I don't really feel like lifting up that bar anymore to put the plates on. So I don't blame you. Really, really handy to have. Um, these are called eccentric hooks. So pretty much this loads up the top of the lift, and then when the bar goes down, these drop off and then it deloads the bar so you can keep prepping it up. So I've never used those but I've always wanted to and I feel like now that I have a garage gym I should probably get some. I love bench press. That's what they tend to work the best on. I need to check them out. I apologize that I don't have any more information on them. So really just for that first rep to make it super heavy on the eccentric down. Worked like a charm. Um, these are bench blocks. So, you know, you put these on the bar and it just has that little gap, you know, that you work on that top portion of the lift on the bench. I believe this is called... Did everybody else see Darth Vader just chilling in the background there? <laughs> called a quad mace. I got this on Black Friday from On It. So pretty cool. You kind of swing it around. It's for like shoulder mobility, shoulder health kind of thing. I had chains. Basically, just like spotter arms. Perfect timing to pause it there. Wall storage, always a fan, like I say, and I will say every single time it comes up. Interested to see what those bananas are, but uh, surprised how well the spotter arms hold up on that. Looks like they're absolutely solid. Uh, they held up well. So this is my grip board. So this is called the loading pin right here. And then I have a little carabiner that lets all these attachments clip onto it. Um, I have some fat grips here. I made like a little wrist roller thing out of PVC pipe. That's cool. 
Um, these are just clips. This is a pitch block. I have some bananas. <laughs> uh, nunchucks. Yeah. Grandfather um, grips there. Um, I have an anvil. So this is what they use at like uh, the Arnold, the World's Strongest Man competitions. So this is called a hub style pinch grip. I have Captains of Crush grippers. So I have a one, a one and a half, and then this one is by Grip Genie. So if you guys know who um, Juji Mufu is, he has, you know, he sells grip tools. Oh. So I cannot close this one. This one's extremely hard. I believe it's a, it's a number three. So um, I can close the number one pretty much every day. And then, like, the, the one and a half, it has to be a really good day for me to close that thing. This guy is, like, a fat rolling grip. I believe it's called a rolling thunder. I know, like, the most ridiculous name ever. Um, but they're both these two. This guy and this guy are from Iron Mind. So, this is like a little, you know, Captains of Crush thing that you can just like load up as much weight as you want. These are just little like cannonball grips, and then this is called a wrist wrench. And then I also made um, these little guys too. So, I just put like a little eye bolt and a piece of wood. Sanded. Um, that is one of the best selections of grip accessories and grip training tools that I've seen in a home gym. Kind of makes me a little embarrassed about my selection of grippers because it is not nearly as cool as that entire wall of grip equipment. I need to step up my game for sure. Over here, I have a bunch of belts. So this is like the belt that I usually use. So dark iron fitness. I I've had like Inzer belts and stuff like that, and they're just they're just a little too thick. They end up like pinching my stomach a little bit, and um, I just I feel like I can't go all the way down on a squat when it's that thick. So this is nice and thin, and it gets the job done. So over here I have some bands. So I use this for like warming up. So I'll do like band pull aparts for rear delts. Uh, I use these bands for the earthquake bar. I have... <laughs> Can't get it up. There we go. Oh! <laughs> like a bit, dude. I'm like, Ugh. Easy. Oh, shit. <laughs> it sneaks up on you. All right, so put it on the um, pull-up bar to kind of just do some assisted pull-ups. So I also made this deadlift platform. That's some good pulls, even if you don't weigh 148. So, even if you weighed more than that. Two four by eight pieces of plywood. I screwed those together and then I got one four by four piece of plywood for the center. And then I went to Tractor Supply and got a stall mat, a four by six piece of stall mat and cut two pieces for the two sides of it. So. And then I ended up actually getting another stall mat and I cut those up into like two by two squares just so that I could put my um, squat rack on top to make it kind of flow. So over here, I actually drilled a hole for my land ring. That's clever. Let's see if I can get it down enough so you can see this bolt here. So it's still able to swivel and I just attach it my um, bar holder here and it works really well so kind of getting a little creative there yeah you are um, this is kind of like a neutral grip curl bar I know you can use it 
for like tricep extensions to like overhead um, presses. Um, this is, I think it's called like a super curl bar. <laughs> so um, basically it's just a little more um, neutral grips than supinated. So this kind of makes your hand more supinated and then this is more still supinated, but a little more neutral. Uh, and I think these are all like camp, just like your basic cheap branded bars. Um, I got this from Rep Fitness. So this is a rackable, um, I believe it's just the hard chrome. It's a big one. I hope I'm getting that. Hard chrome rackable curl bar. Works really, really well. I use it for a close grip bench. And also to, you know, curl in the squat rack because I can. Because <laughs> so, why not? Um, this is a hex bar, you know, for deadlifts and stuff. Um, this is my multi grip bar. I have. Um, from Titan Fitness, it's at a little bit of an angle. Um, this is my Cambridge bar that's like 85 pounds. And that's heavy. Truly, truly impossible <laughs> to get out of there, but I make it. Oh. Work. And then this, where is this from? I think it's X Mark, X Mark Fitness. Um, so I use that for like my landmine, my landmine bar, and I also take this thing outside. <laughs> it is more traps. I'm telling you, those farmer's handles are legit. I should start actually using them, but they're pretty sweet. So, that is kind of my beater bar, but it is truly amazing for a beater bar. So, this is my leg press slash hack squat machine. Uh, it's by Body Solid. And that is very I just, cool. I, I love it. You can, let me see if I can kind of put this up here to show you guys. So you can put it on leg press, calf press, and then this is the hack squat. So I'll try to show you. So that goes all the way down. This thing flips up, and then you got yourself a hack squat. That is cool. So I've always wondered how exactly those work, how if you have to take a piece off or put a piece on, that makes total sense. It looks like it's pretty solid. It looks like it'll hold up. I mean, it is called body solid, so it's got to be pretty sturdy. Looks like a pretty awesome piece to have in a home gym. So these are called um, silencer pads from Titan Fitness. Mm -hmm. Uh, they're really handy, so I put them on either side of the deadlift platform here. Um, and essentially, like, I love them because when I'm doing, like, a lot of reps, you know, with, like, I don't know, 225 pounds or whatever, you know, that clashing down sound just gets annoying <laughs> after a while. It just gets so loud and kind of shakes the whole house. So when you have these pads down, you're able to do, you know, you know 15 plus reps of deadlift and not, you know, want to die listen to that sound, so. So over here I have a calf raise machine. So it kind of targets like the soleus portion of the calf. Very nice. So sit down, kind of hits this outer side of the calf rather than the gastrocnemius right here. And it works really, really well. Um, the weights I decided to buy, I just decided to get it from like everything from Dick's Sporting Goods because it's just easy for me to drive up there and pick whatever I need up, at least before COVID. True. It's a good point. I just have I have six 45s, uh, metal 45s, and then I have four uh, bumper metal or bumper 45 pound plates. So, pretty cool. Uh, this <laughs> HD is from Titan Fitness. 
Uh, it works really, really well. I had a few problems with it when I first um, got it. These pads were really crappy. Oh, wow. Yeah, huh. So I contacted their customer service and they sent me... Well, first they sent me one of these pads because they didn't understand what I was saying and then afterward they sent me only one replacement pad and then eventually I finally got two. So I ended up getting this thing ready to go by like, you know, four months after I bought it. So it was a little bit of a pain to work with them, but it did turn out pretty well. So, I mean, I've had no problems with it ever since. I think I've had it for like three years. So That's pretty solid. I love it. Oh. Um... So, one thing to mention is I have um, horse stall mats from Tractor Supply, so that's what I use for my flooring, and I also have like little foam <laughs> mats underneath just to kind of cushion it a little bit more, especially over here. Uh, just because I'm in the basement, I don't want to. I don't want the floor cracking at all. So probably a good uh, idea. Here I got like the mirror the dumbbells there so i have dumbbells going up to 75 so i got the so any i actually have five pound dumbbells in this drawer here <laughs> who needs them so leave have, them in the drawer and anywhere from five pounds to i have the 65s there and the 75s are on the floor there so i do plan on getting 85s eventually, and then eventually maybe even 100 pound dumbbells, but 75s I can only rip that for like maybe, maybe 8 reps. That shit. So there's really no use of me getting anything heavier quite yet. Not uh, yet. Down here are just some like landmine attachments for rowing. Um, I have like a prime fitness attachment. Thought he was just gonna jump right over the fact that he has like a hundred and eighty dollar attachment there, just laying underneath. Those things are sweet if you haven't tried so them. In these drawers, it's kind of a little bit of a mess, but I have like rings to do some pull-ups on. I have um, elbow pads, a um, bunch of clips. This is a slingshot by Mark, Mark Bell. Um, I have like these mock farmer's, walk, farmer's handles types of things so you can load up weight down here and then you just grab grab the handles there and walk over so some loadable um, dumbbells as well i have this guy for hip thrusts on a barbell um and yeah so down here this is kind of like more like my recovery drawer so i have these gravity boots i have this this is like a um, kettlebell that you can um, load up, put a little dumbbell on there, so you can put it out however heavy you want. Um, I have a little ab wheel, I have this ball that you can put it underneath your back while you're foam rolling, which looks really good. Looks brutal. Another foam roller, this is kind of like a, a, dough, a dough roller, but you roll out your legs with that. And then some push-up whatever you call these things, um, <laughs> push-up handles, and then I have like an arm blaster, a crossball, stuff like that. So up here I have another um, kettlebell from Onnit. So I think it's called like the Howler Monkey. And then I have this little block, anatomy block, so you can turn it whatever which way. Brain, stuff. <laughs> That's cool. And so, pretty cool. 
Um, this is liquid chalk. I have a chalk block. I use, um, I only use spider chalk. It's the absolute best. So, um, I have whiskey scented ammonia. <laughs> And then I have this. Please tell me we're not just jumping over the mini deadlift platform right there that looks freaking awesome that I kind of want to make to use as a mouse pad, but it's not as awesome as this chalk bowl. A little, you know, cracked out Ewok with, <laughs> you know, cocaine underneath his nose. <laughs> That's so chocolate. cool. So, um, over here, so um, I guess I'll show you the stereo system. So I have a bunch of like Star Wars lightsabers and stuff in here, but um, so I use a Sony stereo, and then I have my two speakers over there and over there, and then I have my sub underneath here. So some pretty cool stuff. It gets pretty loud down here if you want it to. So so this is a Bowflex. So originally, I think my dad actually bought this. Um, so essentially, I always wanted to take this thing apart because I never used it. Um, there was like stuff like here and here, so I was never able to even pull these um, bands down. So once I actually got this basement a little more cleaned up, I started using it and it really surprised me. So um, I really only use it for um, chest flies, but it works really, really well because you kind of don't want a lot of pressure at this top part of the lift, but as you fly in, it gets really, really, well, there's a lot of resistance and it really pumps up your chest. So this was my first piece of equipment. This was my, this was a bench. So I actually ended up cutting off these poles here and it had, you know, a bar holder for you to bench on, but I wanted to slide it underneath here because I'm kind of limited on space. So now I just use it for a leg extension and a leg curl machine so and it works really well just plug loaded down there nice um so over here is my lat pull down i got this thing off of amazon for like 150 bucks i believe uh so i just weigh it down with the 75s kind of uses this as like a a foot holder when you're doing the low rows down there um and then i have a bunch of attachments so some mag grips some grips from um this is from Prime Fitness. You can move this any which way you want, rotate it. I didn't realize they do red. That's pretty awesome. We used to have the green uh, in the gym that I run. That red is very cool. Just like a neutral grip, wide bar, curl bar. And then this is also something that you can attach anything to. It's from Prime Fitness and then adjust the width and it also you're able to rotate your wrist wherever you want. This is a flat bar down here. And then I have just like single handles here. I have um, like a neutral grip, close grip attachment. And then I have um, just basically ropes. Rope work with so for tricep push downs, and I have this little rogue, um, uh, this little rogue strap. I do, I use these for like face pulls and stuff. So, um, so coming over here, there's more attachments. This is for I use that for like little rows, um, a V attachment. This is a supinated mag attachment and then more just like single strap things there um, and then I have um, a spud ink um, belt squat so I kind of rigged this thing up to <laughs> I have to that'd be a whole nother video <laughs> but essentially I have this cable holding the weight stack here and then I'm able to lock it on my cable crossover of course when this couch is out of the way and all that but, well, that's cool. Yeah, so I have a little, a few more attachments over here. This is from Prime Fitness. It's just like basically this type of handle, um, but you're, you're able to attach it to like down here, and you're able to swivel it, move it every which way. So it's really good on the wrists, really good on the shoulder joints and all that. And then I also have this Viking press for the landline. 
So essentially what I do, so over there, so I put the barbell there, and then I take this guy, so the little landline holder. So I take that, carry it over here, pop it down, and so the bar, um, the bar rests right on top of here. That's pretty legit. Makes it a little easier to get under there. And then I slide this around the end of it and pretty much do um, Viking presses that way. Looks like the holder is the way to go on those, for sure. And then this is the cable. I just keep this here for the low row. So it just runs from here down and then you're able to do your low rows up there. So it's pretty cool. Um, over here is my cable crossover. I have a bunch of lightsabers on the wall. Okay, somehow we were looking at that lap pull down the whole time. I literally did not even see the cable crossover. That's awesome. Very cool, did not expect it. But um, to use this, it's kind of a pain in the butt because I have to move every single piece of furniture <laughs> out. So I'm trying to um, get rid of some of this stuff to make more space because it kind of sucks right now. But that's kind of what I'm working with. It works really, really well. Like today, I, all I do is I slide these two chairs through there and then I push the couch up and then I'm able to use the cable crossover. It's your warm-up. It's just kind of a pain in the butt. So, um, let's see. So over here I have like <laughs> Star Wars helmets and stuff. Some like crystals down there. Um, and then this is like my cardio section of the gym. So I have an elliptical, treadmill, my sled. So over here I have some battle ropes and also like a little rope that attaches to this. I do kind of like a strong man rope pull. I, attach it going that way um pretty much like a stair machine but it uses like these like gas struts type of thing so <laughs> it, it works okay it works it works well but after you know being on it for like 15 minutes it does start to like make this weird noise and i feel like these little gas struts are going to blow up they so, might it's a little little sketchy sometimes um so i have a bike just a Reebok bike. I think my parents bought that. Um, and then I have this Stamina X rower. Works really, really well. I kind of debated on getting a Concept 2 rower or this. And I ended up going with this just because it... it. I mean, Concept 2 is the best. But this is definitely a good budget option. I think I paid about half the price. So I paid like 500 bucks versus 1000 Concept 2 is... It's up there. I have a sit-up bench. I have a hyperextension bench, 45 degree angled, some dip bars, uh, this leg magic is my parents, and yeah, so that is pretty much the whole, whole gym. Got the mini fridge. Um, I did pay for all of this myself. I've been working on it for like 11 years now. So, I mean, even, you know, pre-COVID, I was building this home gym, so. All right, guys, um, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll just kind of go through like a quick little run through, just so that you guys can see the whole entire home gym. I do have a lot of um, Star Wars stuff. <laughs> I would say so. Here. There's quite a bit in there, man. That's awesome. Hot soul in the fridge. This is my parents' bar, <laughs> so I turn it into like a little protein bar area with that bars. is cool i like that a lot pretty cool i have um an r2d2 sideshow collectibles um like this guy's little skull is the mud horn from the mandalorian that's from regal robot um that's just a little x-wing guy darth vader's x-wing um yoda um that is Yoda's Lego house <laughs> and then that is like where in the Mandalorian where they store like the best car steel um, so I kind of already went through all of this oh I 
think I missed these. So, these are just um, clips. So, these guys, they're all from Rogue, and they're literally indestructible. So it's you true. can load up like a thousand pounds and drop it from overhead, and those things will still hold the weight. They are the best caller. I wish they were still um, making the splatter paint. Tickies. Off of there on the bar. Um, that is from a deleted scene in, I believe, Empire Strikes Back. So C-3PO like rips that sign off of a door, and then a Wampa comes and like grabs like a stormtrooper. So some kind of a little more unique. Um, this is a towel holder. This is you can see this <laughs> in Jabba's palace. It's like right right underneath where he sits. Um, I have a chalkboard. Um, I have a rogue banner, some Star Wars helmets up here. Um, I do kind of call this gym down here unlimited power gym. I don't know. I don't know why. I just kind of named it one day. So um, this is the mud horn. This is kind of like if you guys have seen the Mandalorian. That's what his shoulder piece looks like. Showed you guys the Ewok already. This is a little baby Yoda there. All that. That is from Germany. It's from uh, Star Wars Celebration. These are just literally like towel cloths that I put up on the wall just to <laughs> fill the space. Got an episode 3 poster. Um, and then here's the lightsaber wall. So Dang. Kylo Ren right there. Count Dooku, Darth Vader, Darth Sidious, Star Killer, Darth Revan, Mace Windu, Obi Wan, Anakin's. Uh, that's a Lego lightsaber. Um, Obi Wan's, Kit Fisto, Luke Skywalker, and Yoda's. So I have a ton, <laughs> tons and tons of lightsabers. Uh, we got a little baby Yoda pillow and a Chewbacca pillow. Um, a little mythosaur skull above the TV. Let me move this fan so we can kind of see. So it's a Poe Dameron's helmet, Luke Skywalker, and then a bunch of Stormtrooper helmets, so Shadow Trooper, um, uh, I'll have to think of a name, Shock Trooper up there, Stormtrooper. What is that called? This one. Um, I'll, I'll come back to it, I'll remember. <laughs> So I have the Jedi Code plaque up here. If you guys want to pause that, read that, whatever. Uh, I got TV above the treadmill and elliptical. Uh, it's like tissue box or something hand sanitizer because of COVID. I have a couple of people work out down here with me. I have my knee sleeves. Gotta have the hand sanitizer. These are, um, these are actually CrossFit shoes. I don't do CrossFit, but they're perfect for squatting and doing everything with. I think they're the Nano 7s. I can remember that correctly. So this is from the New Hope. So this is the docking bay that the Millennium Falcon was parked in. So some unique stuff down here. That's, that's cool. From, from Regal Robot. That's the Mythosaur skull that is on both. That's armor. And then I got um, the two Boba Fett's Boba Fett helmets. So that's his original helmet, and this is the the prototype helmet that he was supposed to look like. Um, actually, a little fun fact for you guys, my nerd side's coming up, but um, all the Stormtroopers were supposed to have this armor until George Lucas changed it. So, there was supposed to be a bunch of, like a million Boba Fett's. <laughs> uh, I got some pop toys up there, I got a Star Wars clock, um, Asajj Ventress's lightsaber on the wall, some foam mats, a weighted vest, um, just like a exercise ball and then a mat over there so that is pretty much the whole entire home gym dang i'll show you the um this is like the stormtrooper baton that um he uses to fight finn i think even finn uses this to fight captain phasma in um the last jedi so and then back there are just some signed pocket bugs. I tried. Um, so one thing, you know what? I did mess. Let's 
So that's my pull-up bar. That's pretty and, sweet. Um, I actually worked at an automotive company for about five years, and uh, one of our welders welded that pull-up bar for me. So it was pretty cool. Um, that piece of wood, that piece of wood right there, I pretty much just bolted that to the wall, and then I bolted the pull-up bar to the piece of wood. And then I also have a punching bag in here, as well as another pull-up bar. Because why not? So, yeah. Well, thank you guys for watching, and uh, let me know if you guys have any questions regarding uh, really anything down here. I'll be sure to answer them. And until then, you guys stay safe out there, and have a wonderful rest of your guys' day. All right. Also, a huge shout out to Ricky at Garage Gym Gains. Um, you guys should all check out his channel. I believe he will, he will be reviewing this video on his channel too. Um, I do not really have a YouTube channel, but I am thinking about posting more videos. So, I mean, if you want to subscribe to my channel too, uh, go for it. You know, <laughs> might as well. So, all right, guys, I hope you. Man, Zachary, that is one of the most absolutely insane basement gyms or home gyms at all that I've seen. You have so much stuff down there. You could do a different accessory exercise or like different exercise of some sort every day for ever. And you wouldn't run out of things to do down there. There's so much down there. Uh, things that I really like, obviously, uh, I'm kind of new to Star Wars. I started watching it with Mandalorian and I've watched a couple uh, since then of the original Star Wars. Somehow I didn't see them when I was growing up, but that's really cool to see so much decor down there, obviously. And then probably my next favorite thing other than your huge assortment of, bar, or assortment of bars, which is insane, is also your grip wall. I think that is freaking cool. You kind of inspired me to get some different grip training attachments and tools and stuff. Right now I just have the crush captains of crush grippers. So I really think I need to step up my game like you do and I at least get the bananas. At first when I, we were walking through, I didn't realize that it's a loop around your staircase and that's really cool as well. Ton of stuff in there. I am thoroughly impressed and thank you for letting me check it out. Go, you saw the end of the video. He might start making more YouTube videos. He did a really good job on this one. So everybody go subscribe to him. Say, hey, Garage Gym Gain sent me. I subscribed. Follow him on Instagram as well. Sounds like he's a little more active on there. Follow me on Garage Gym underscore. Follow me on Garage underscore Gym underscore Gains on Instagram. I've got it right here. Oh, 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 oh. Garage underscore gym underscore gains. Check out the website, www.garagegymgains.com. The banners are up. They're available for purchase. What's up, everybody? I just feel... Can't even talk today. What's up, everybody? I just finished up, well... I'm finishing it up right now. Don't mind the office, it's a disaster. Finish up a review on Zachary's $20,000 Star Wars themed home gym. It's gonna drop tomorrow, probably midday to afternoon. You definitely wanna check it out. It's insane.